Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today it is a Wednesday and I'm going to be starting a new series called TNT Powered Redstone. So what this is going to consist of is it's going to consist of redstone builds that have some aspect of TNT that can be useful. For example this blast cannon or blast miner as what it does is it destroys it pretty much is the same way as mining except you use TNT to dig a hole straight down. You can also use this to clear out large amount of areas for terraforming. So this is an extremely simple contraption and also I will be talking more about the Wednesday videos and things I've been adding new like this new camera studio mod that I'm using now at the end of the video so stay tuned for that. So what this is, is this is just a nice simple contraption, it's 5x5 five five, and it does exactly what you want to, it destroys a large area. It uses 9 dispensers, of course you don't have to use 9, you can use 1 if you want. And it's all simply powered by a few repeaters, a few dispensers, a few redstone and some simple redstone mechanics that I'll show you in a sec. Okay guys, so what you have here is you've got this lever, if you want it off you'll have it facing upwards, what you can do is you can put it down and then press the button and TNT will fire and then after that explodes more TNT will fire out. It's a very simple clock that will keep going on and on and on. Now I'm going to show you guys this in a test world and we'll be right back in just a second. Okay guys so what we have here is we've got a rather large mountain that's like something like a hundred blocks up and I've just got a wee platform you don't have to do this you can literally just place it 10 blocks above the ground if we want to destroy and you can just fire this thing off and it'll start blast mining for you so I hope you guys do enjoy this time lapse of just it's slowly destroying the TNT as you go. So if we press the button as we can see the first TNT gets destroyed and it all gets destroyed in one big heap so it doesn't recoil back up and then it destroys one layer and then it keeps going. Okay guys, as you can see this contraption made a giant hole and as you can see it left a massive indent. As you could see though in the thing there was some water that slipped it up which is always going to be a problem. But normally there's not water and it nearly hit bedrock but it only has a length of like 100 blocks because that's only how fast TNT can fall. But as you can see we got down to bedrock and you can see all your ores that you want to mine as such as redstone, lapis, coal and gold. So there might even be some diamonds later on. So now anyway on to the tutorial. Okay guys now on to the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to need is some building blocks, 11 redstone repeaters, 9 redstone, 9 dispensers or one if you're really nitty, uh, 1 redstone torch, 1 sticky piston, a stone button and a lever lever. So the first thing you want to do is place down a 3x3 free free grid of dispensers or one in the middle or four or any combination and then you can just translate your redstone to the amount of dispensers. And the next thing you want to do is you want to find one corner, it doesn't matter which corner. So for the sake of this video we're just going to place two iron up here, we're going to place a lever lever on top with our stone button behind it. Then behind the lever you want to place your redstone torch. Next thing you want to do is make some scaffolding for the sticky piston and then get rid of that scaffolding. The next thing you want to do is you want to place an iron block or any building block in each of the corners. Then you want to get your redstone repeaters out and start placing them down in a giant ring and you also want them all set to 4 ticks delay as so. So after that you should have a giant ring which should be which is going to be your main clock that just goes consistently round and the piston's going to be the only thing stopping it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to place your redstone like so. If you want eight or six piss dispensers, then you can just get rid of that and fill in this with some block, and then you're good to go. So after you've done that, you can just fill up all your dispensers with TNT. I'd recommend something like 16 or so, or even more, and then you're good to go. So yeah, that's the tutorial done, and now I'm going to talk about talk about some updates and just this new Wednesday video thing. Okay guys, so I just wanted to quickly talk about 
something in particular and the first thing is that I want to talk about is that how I'm going to be doing two videos a week from now on. I'm going to be doing one on Saturday, I'm no longer doing them on Sunday because it just gets a wee bit too late and I'm going to be doing one on Wednesday so that's twice as much content for you guys to enjoy but also um, Sunday is going, Saturday is going to be my main video and also this is New Zealand time so it's probably going to be Friday if you're in the US or I don't know, yeah pretty much. So apart from that uh, so I'm going to be two, doing two videos a week, but the Wednesday video is going to be either something like this wicked, uh, something like this TNT powered redstone, or it's going to be like a casual video like, like let's say a QA. and a if one day you guys want me to do that, or I might just play like a mini game or something, but most of the time it's going to be something like this, it's just a mo if I'm a wee bit short of time, I'll do like a and a or something. Don't worry, I always have the sad day videos, it's just something a wee bit extra for you guys to watch. Um, the third thing is, actually two more things left, uh, the third thing is I have got this new Pixel Cam thing, it's called Pixel Cam, uh, and it's pretty much like Camera Studio but better and simpler and allows me just to do these footage things that make it look a lot better. And the set fourth thing is, is um, I learned about bit rates. Uh, what it is, is it's just something of uh, how much pixels show up on the screen per frame and so um the recommended bit rate for youtube is eight megabits per second i've been rendering my videos in three megabits per second so that way it doesn't look as good as it normally does a picture should come up now showing the difference this is extremely zoomed in on one of the one of the of my last video when the tnt blew up so i re-rendered it at just that clip in eight megabits and I'm going to be doing that from now on. Of course I have slow internet here so it's going to take a lot longer to upload but that's sacrifice I'm willing to make. So those are all the things I wanted to talk about and also the thing maybe probably won't happen is that I might make a second channel just if uh, I have a vlogging friend. Uh, I have other people that want me to play mini games and stuff and that can just be a second channel where I do tons of stuff. Extra stuff. And that way I can give you guys some of my personal life instead of just Minecraft. So anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time on Saturday with another TNT Madness video. Goodbye. <laughs>